some really good news for the guys working on this Dr. Stifler, um, Stifler Loop project. I think that's just what we're going to call it is because it is Dr. Stifler's um, project. But I got this uh, crystal circuit up and running with a 13.56 megahertz crystal. And we've got all the good stuff going on here. It's all here. And this is um, the circuit going into an L3. This is right out of the um, SEC 15 or SEC 18 L3. And then this is just a, a like a big AV plug with a coil on it that um, is close to that coil there that picks up the, the resonance. And like I say, it's got all the good stuff happening here that a normal SEC would show right there. And that's that 110 volt... Uh, LED panel being lit up by the back side by the aluminum plate and then I'm just going from the AV plug on the back into a virtual ground. Now, the only thing that's different about this circuit is um, right here I'm not using a 1K resistor I'm using a choke. That's a thousand micro Henry choke and it's only about four ohms of resistance but man I get the I get the spectacular results using that choke. Uh, all these other values are the same. You can use any NPN signal transistor. Some work better than others, but all of these values are not critical, I found out. And um, the guy that invented this um, circuit, Slider, showed a great video on how to do it, and TK's replicated it, but highly recommend this circuit. And the guy that got the circuit together was to test crystals. And he just set this up so that he could test his crystals and see if they were working. But for this project here, you come off the signal from the collector right into your um, LED board uh, with an AV plug. And uh, this thing works really, really good. Now I can detune this. Let's see if I can do this here, show you. Just by doing that. I just happen to have the right values of uh, coils here so that this all went into resonance uh, without having to do any tuning but I'm just running it on 9 volts uh, there's the little circuit I could probably put this on a board and notice how small that little 2 pin uh, crystal is right there it's a very small 2 pin crystal I got it online you'll have to look it up it's a uh, 13.56 megahertz Something happens at that frequency, guys, and people are saying it's not important, it doesn't matter, but let me tell you, at 13.56 megahertz, the magic happens, and Dr. Stifler found that frequency, and his SEC units run at that frequency, so I highly recommend you track down that little crystal and build up this circuit, and uh, you have to match it with an L3 coil like right out of Dr. Stifler's deal, um, his SEC units, and then you can do all this other great stuff with it. Um, I'm sure his towers would work great with this too if you set up the towers like he used to have and have these towers set up in just a, such a way. Um, this is wireless uh, transmission of energy. No batteries on that. That's just stuck on a tongue depressor. And uh, that's resonant frequency. In, at work. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll give a link to where most of this is going on. It's called the Over Unity um, Forum, and uh, some of the guys I worked with years ago have come out of the woodwork to work on this project. And uh, this will happen at other frequencies, and I have other chips that this will happen, but it not, it's not like this. For some reason, at that magic frequency at 13.56, or around 13.5, when you get everything right, when you get everything tuned up in resonance, the magic comes out of the woodwork. Thanks for watching.